Today we we'll, we we'll look at OpenBoard, a free and open source software used in in teaching online, teaching mathematics and um, science related courses. You know, when teaching equations, mathematics, calculations, equations, or you're trying to illustrate equations on the board, to do that online, you will need you will need a whiteboard app and an example of a whiteboard app is which you can get free of charge is OpenBoard. OpenBoard is a free and open source software used in teaching mathematics and science related courses. Let us go online and then download OpenBoard and then we can combine it with a pointing device such as a graphics tablet to and then see how we can use it to teach mathematics so i want to show you how to download the free software open board so what you need to do is to open a new tab on your browser your browser can be chrome it can be firefox or whatever browser you're using or internet explorer so once you open a new tab here you can see you type open board open board so i'm trying to google open board you can see we have open board here it said open board is a free and open source interactive whiteboard software compatible with any projector and pointing device so we we'll go ahead and click download open board so here you select your your download option based on your on your operating system we have mac operating system we have windows we have ubuntu so among these one we are using my own system is windows so if yours is mac operating system you select this so we have versions of windows you can see windows 10 plus so you click here to download for windows 10 plus so here mine is windows 10 i click on it to download so you can see the download it has started downloading and the file size is about 88.7 megabytes now our download is complete so we need to you can see we click on the download link we have here it's already installed on our system so we click on it to open to start the installation process so you can see what we have here do you want to allow this app to it's from an unknown publisher but you still go ahead and install because we got it from the publisher itself but if you're not sure of the publisher you can you may disallow it but we are aware of the publisher so we'll go ahead with it so you select here you can see select setup language we select english we have other options here we select english and click ok so here where do you want to save it you browse the directory on which you want to save it so we click next next then do you want to create a desktop shortcut or you want to create a quick launch shortcut whichever one you click on it and then click next then install as you install you wait for the for the software to the installation process to be complete so we are done with our installation you can see so you click on this on this button finish then to launch the open board you can see the shortcut for it yeah you double click on it 
so we've been able to launch the application on open board so the open board you can see here we have the these are your working tools here you can select different colors for your writing material or your pointing device you can select red if you want the color of your drawings or your writings your writings to be red you can see you can draw a cycle i can draw a a square or a rectangle so i'm using mouse to draw so using pointing device it will be more clearer you can also use blue to draw you can see these are different colors that you can use to write you can use yellow so use this option for color selection then this one is for thickness of line you can see the thickness here the default one is this very one i can make it lighter you can see what i have here this very one is for if you want to make the line to be lighter in thickness then this is an eraser depending on the size of the eraser you want to use you can use big eraser you can see what i have here you can also use smaller one or medium this is the medium option for cleaning up you can see this, this is the smallest this is the smallest so you if you want to erase everything entirely maybe you don't want to start cleaning it one by one or in, individually you can just click here to erase everything you can use this to undo your action use this for redoing your action so we can also we can select the background this is for background you can make your background to be in a, a grid line form and also make it to just be black black plain black you can also make it to be plain white you can make it to be uh, with a grid line you can see white background maybe if you're trying to plot a graph or whatever you're doing you can use it to illustrate that so if you are done select selecting your selecting your preferred option you can dismiss this background selection panel so here you can use this to create new pages if you want to create new work pages so here you can see other things we have here like if you want to show your desktop if you want to minimize your working area you use this to show your desktop so that's all about open board in the next video we will look at how to use open board to perform mathematical calculation. Mm -hmm.